are asking me who the number one villain for the Yankees was yesterday. It was Aaron Judge. He didn't come through in big spots. And listen, yeah, the Yankees will be fine. Yankees going to win the division. Yankees going to end up going to the World Series. Love what Jess Mendoza said about the great day for Gary Sanchez and what that means moving forward. But Yankees, 22 cats on base yesterday, and, and they just couldn't cash in. That was a frustrating, mind-numbing loss for my New York Yankees. Your New York Yankees. Our New York Yankees. Jimmy Jam in New York, our good friend. Next on Sports. Jam, I love baseball, Shine. Oh, it's a good best. day, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, I'm flying high for two reasons. Obviously, what I just mentioned, I, I, I just got to throw out there. I got my, uh, I got one, one month left in sales data for my fiscal year, and, and I just cracked the top 10 in the nation for sales. So, I'm flying high right now on that one. But, Mazel tov. Uh, Congratulations, James Jam. That's awesome. Hey, that's you. awesome. Close, I love that. Close to close to 600 salespeople, so that's a huge deal for me. But um, baseball, even bigger deal. Even bigger deal. And, and I did tell my wife at one point in life, I said, honey, I love you dearly. We've been married 20 years. But I said baseball came first, and she says, I know. <laughs> so... <laughs> um, I, I tried to call in yesterday. My timing was way off. But uh, if I can talk about my Cardinals, and I do want to mention a couple points yesterday because it does relate to my call today. My concerns or my my uh, my areas of focus on the game going into yesterday were were really two things. It was number one, we're looking for Flair to be that ace. I'll tell you right now, the jury's still out. Um, I need to see a lot more from that guy especially on opening day, when you get the ball on opening day, you got to be a lot better than what you were. Um, I'll give him a free pass because it was probably 35 degrees. But my second point, and, and I tweeted you yesterday with the Cardinals lineup was, mm -hmm. I was very curious to see how Arenado, his presence alone affected the other batters in the lineup. And I was going to mention two players, uh, you know, specifically regarding that one was Goldie. And you saw, and hopefully you saw my tweet. If not, it's cool. But I said, I can't imagine the kind of pitches Goldschmidt's going to see sitting before in the line of Arenado, and that proved to be gold. Oh, so I saw the one, tweet. Uh, I love the tweet, yes. and it was really yes. a a wonderful tweet in terms of then what happened in the game. And you know, yeah, well, Goldschmidt is a stud. You know, I think that gets lost sometimes, and, and Arenado. Look, I love Arenado, you know that, and I love the trade, yeah. and you know that as well. I also yeah. think he's highly motivated by the leaving Colorado conversation with the numbers dip. Look, yeah. I, we could talk about what, what it would, it's going to be for your fantasy team. In reality, he, he's a star. He's going to mash. He's going to rake. He's going to put up gigantic numbers while playing a gold glove third base for your yeah. St. Louis Cardinals. And and he's a star with the best kind of chip on his shoulder right yes. now. Yes, that's something yes. to prove. Yes, that is worth its weight in gold. So obviously, the, the other person before I get into my pitching because I think that could be an issue this year. But the other person I was going to mention in that lineup who went yard yesterday was our boy. Not many people know him, but get to know the name Dylan Carlson because he's he's potential rookie of the year and he's going to match twenty five home runs easily, easily. But our pitching is going to be the suspect if it is. And we need that. And I'll tell you something, right. Jimmy Jam, the compare yeah. and contrast and yeah. the Brewers. I, I think the Brewers pitching is sneaky good. I, I, I think the Brewers are you're going to be your biggest competition. And I the, the oh. one team that I pain not putting in the playoffs. I shouldn't say the one. But, you know, because I think Washington's going to be good this year and Philly's going to be good. And, you know, I didn't put them in the postseason and Jimmy Jam, brilliant stuff as always. I, I think the Brewers are going to be a really good team this year. And they, they've got a deeper rotation than the Cardinals. And I, Jimmy Jam, as always, brilliant stuff. Appreciate the call. Greiston in Colorado, our good friend. Next, shot on sports. Hey, Adam, how are you, man? What's up, Greiston? Hey, I'm a huge fan, and it is Tristan, T-R-Y-S-T-O-N, yes, sir. Tristan, okay, there we go. Yes, sir. I just want to call in, man. I'm so hyped about Colorado sports right now, coming in the winter. We needed this in Colorado after the Broncos season, but, man, that starting five from the Nuggets is looking untouchable. 
Yeah, that was fun last night, and they've been on fire. We're going to get Tim Connolly, your general manager, on the show over the next few weeks. I, I love that that Gordon trade. And listen, you know, the Clippers don't have it. Denver does. And I, I love that trade. And, you know, last night on Time to Shine on TV, filling out our FanDuel lineup, we had Big Honey, and we had Gordon, and we had Jamal Murray yes, all in that lineup. And... Yeah, that uh, you got a heck of a coach, and I I think that that was a phenomenal change the perception of the club internally kind of move because yes sir I think that locker room needed that jolt from that organization in a year where the West is open. Look, I think Utah is the team to beat, and they deserve that recognition. Obviously, AD comes back, LeBron comes back. You know, Drummond gets healthy. We're, we'll have a different discussion, but, you know, a team like Portland should be saying, why not us? A team like Phoenix should be saying, Booker was amazing last night, why not us? And I think the leader of the pack in the why not us category, the Denver Nuggets. Yes, sir, absolutely. I'm real hyped about it. I just wanted to call in and get your perspective on, do you think that Aaron Gordon coming to the team and how well he fit and how well he just – got right in that lineup and he looked like he'd been for there for years and do you think Aaron Gordon is the piece we're missing to put us put us over that edge and get us to the NBA finals and get us that championship we've been longing for for so long I appreciate your time Adam Tristan great stuff I, I love this telephone call the answer is I love the move and it gets you closer out of respect to the jazz I can't say it gets you over the hump but I do think and this is why I put those teams and lumped them together in that category under that umbrella. You know, if I'm the Phoenix Suns, the Nuggets scare me more now. It's as simple as that. You know, and if you're asking me, and I know what the record says, you know, Denver now has an opportunity to beat Phoenix in a series. I might not have said that before the trade. So that's, that's something you have to factor in. John of Pennsylvania, our good friend. Next, shot on sports. Sign, what a great day yesterday. I have a couple of things to say. One. Home runs in the snow. Two, all nine lines filled on uh, Mad Dog Sports talking about baseball. Great day for baseball there. Uh, I do not like any of the changes except for the DH. I wish they would go DH in both. But I don't, I don't want I don't want to see the seven inning thing. So I'm I totally against all that. I'm I'm a guy that hey I want to play the nine innings. I don't care if it takes eight hours. It's, I'd rather sit there and watch that than not watch it at all. But uh, I really want to talk about my Phillies because yesterday they were up for seven innings. I said, okay, here we go. And then sure enough, in the seventh inning, we have a tight ball game. I said, oh, no, <laughs> let's not go back to last year. Oh. Let's not do this. And they finally pulled it through. But And the other thing. They, and the pen got it done after after the Sandoval home run. The pen got it done. The pen yes, got did. it done. I I thought. One of the big winners yesterday was Joe Girardi and the Phillies and the Phillies fans. And, and the fact yep. that they won, who they played against, and how they won, look, I thought that was a big deal. A big deal. Philly needed that in a major way. It was a big deal because I thought, here we go again. But you know what the best part, even today, the best part about baseball is when that guy Pete called from Boston and he kind of made you mad, I liked it because now we're talking baseball, buddy. Now we're getting people mad because of a discussion about the game. And the game is back. I don't care what he says. And you know what? Let's keep playing. So you Oh, have John, day. that is a great holiday. telephone call. Didi had that great catch late in the game, too. You know we love Didi Gregorius. So I am with you completely. And, you know, with that said, we will take more baseball telephone calls and – we will get into the great elements of the game that must be celebrated and marketed. To your brilliant point, John, we'll get into that right after. And listen, you could make this case for the Shine Box answer, best moment of opening day. You know, there was a ton of buzz. I was getting all the tweets yesterday. You know, Justin Shackle, of course, not only does our updates, but he is the face of Yankee Stadium, wasn't there last year with the pandemic, and... You know, he basically got a hero's welcome from the 10,000 in attendance at Yankee Stadium. From what I understand, Shackle was on the screen for the first time, and everybody just rose in unison as one. 
to give support to our guy, Justin Shackle. Here he is right now, facing Yankee Stadium, Justin Shackle on the Mad Dog Sports Radio. Sports Riot. Mad Dog Sports Radio. 